Hey, this is Plat MFG back again, uh, do another tutorial. So shout out to all my friends here on Plasma Spider. Uh, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to take a what is this? Take a file, a photo. I believe I went over the Yankees file um, and showed you how to take the color image, change it into a black and white for so you can do a DXF. Um, Brian here asked me to do a tutorial on a JPEG pick to a DXF. I know there's been quite a few guys on Plasma Spider that have gone around and been converting all of the DXFs that get posted on here because it looks just like this download, okay, uh, the DXF. And they end up posting later on in the thread here's the photo of, of that one, which is really nice because when we go through and we're checking out files and whatever else, um, having a photo really helps uh, know what I'm downloading and that it, you know it looks good I don't want to be downloading a, a cheesy little whatever it's not worth my time okay and then I gotta go back through find it and delete it so and, and the same thing with you guys it's it's no fun going hey it says helmet but what kind of helmet is it is it a viking helmet is it a football helmet is it just an outline of a helmet I, I could care less you know it's like I, I really don't need that file so what I want to do is have this JPEG um, set up so that everybody knows how to do it and can do it so that everything looks good. And I'm going to try and do this as a two-in-one. We're going to go with the JPEG uh, to DXF, and then I'm going to show you how to load the two into Plasma Spider together so that they're in sync. So what, And another thing that's going to help you out here is, see, once you've got your file, and you've got your JPEG. If you name it the exact same thing, this is a DXF, this is a JPEG. So this one actually falls behind. This is .j and this is a .d. So um, because it's the exact same name, if you put a one right here, this one would actually jump in front of it because it's going by alphabetical. All right. So I just need you to remember that this is going to give you a preview to your DXF files. Okay, just remember that previews to your DXF files, um, and that's something you need to remember. So we're gonna do file import. I'll just grab my my plat logo real quick because it just sounds like a good one to do. See plat logo, plat logo. And there's my DXF. All right, so I'm gonna open that. I don't need this line here, and this was back in the day when I didn't know what I was doing, so. Those are about by F12 to redraw it. Okay. The next thing you want to look at is the entire table. And you want to put your art in the middle of your table. Now, this is for Plasma Cam. I don't know about the rest of the softwares. This is for Plasma Cam. And this is only for, um, for doing your, your uh, previews. Okay. So put it in the middle, stretch it out till bigger than the table. Don't go bigger and don't do it really fast because in 2.1 um, in the plasma cam 2.1, 2.2 is out now but I'm, I haven't gotten a copy of it still. Okay, So 2.1 you're gonna go file print preview alright and then you're gonna zoom in. So here you go and if you go bigger you could probably end up getting this to stretch out right to the edge of the page um, so you could really end up getting less pixelation going on. You can actually see the pixels. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually take a screenshot of everything that's going on. You're going to be able to see all this, all this up here. It's not going to be just like a little tiny bit screenshot. So we're going to hit print screen. Get your mouse out of the way. You're taking a picture of your screen right now. Okay, Get it out of the way. FN and my insert button is print screen. It's PRTSC for print screen. And I just took a screenshot of all of this. So when I go into Photoshop, I'm going to unlock this background real quick. Okay, hit Control V to paste because it's in your clipboard. There it is. There's my print screen. Those of you that are in Photoshop will be able to do exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Miss Paint because a lot of people don't know what they're doing in Paint. So Control V, um, or probably the people that are in Paint need the most help. Those of you that are in Photoshop, use Photoshop. We'll be able to follow along. You'll know what I'm doing, I would hope. Okay, crop. Okay. 
get your selection, right click and crop. Now that we have that, you're going to get your photo or your, excuse me, your paint bucket tool here and click black. All right. Click where your steel is going to be and sha la 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 la. All right. There is my, um, there's my file. Now here's the deal. Check this A out. All right. See how the inside of that is not filled? That means that, that A is going to be hollow. That doesn't have uh, this piece. If I can get it to fill in. Doesn't, there it goes. It doesn't have that piece. That's not staying there right now. Now granted, it's actually in my uh, in my software, this here. See, it is going to stay there because that's the way that I have it cut out. But I actually have um, the way that I did this. Let me get into Photoshop. Okay. So because it's so pixelated, that just zoomed way in. Okay. Because it's so pixelated, it might not be able to get through there. So that's something that you need to double check, make sure of. Okay. If you're in here and that kind of kind of stuff happens, and it looks like that, that's probably what your art's going to end up doing. So you need to double check and make sure that those kind of marks, uh, that A is actually going to stay there and not fall out. Because if this was connected, it's kind of like a safety thing. If this was connected and this was connected, oh, I totally forgot. Yeah, that's right. The, uh, the inside of that A is going to fall out because it's still hollow. So make sure you check for that. That looks goofy. Why is it doing that? Okay, that's your problem because your art's not totally done. And this should do it in one click. Remember that. Just one. One click. Okay. So once you're done with that, file, save as, and save it as the same name as your DXF and stick it in the same folder. That way you'll actually have a side-by-side -side or, or a preview of it. Okay. So the next part of this tutorial here is in uh, Plasma Spider. Okay. What you're going to end up doing is on a post reply or you're creating a new uh, a new file alright hit upload attachment you're gonna choose a file okay and I gotta go into my pictures Wow. let's see something just totally totally slowed down okay pictures all right, DXFs, and just for kicks and grins, I'm going to show you this one here, the 11 gauge soldier, okay? And I'm going to put that one in. Open, add the file. So all it's doing right now is adding this to uh, two downloadable files, okay? And then I'm going to hit choose file, and I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to grab my black and white or my JPEG okay, and open it up. And I'm going to add that file. All right. Now, I'm, now what we're going to do is we're going to stick these in line. So you can see right here, this is actually a PNG, not a JPEG. And here's the DXF. All right. So you're going to take your 11 gauge soldier and hit place in line. All right. And then take your DXF and hit place in line. This way, hold on a second. I want to just just cuz I'm a code guy, that's just me, okay? So my picture is going to show up just above my DXF. All right. Now, I'm going to I'm going to do another one just to show you exactly what's going on here. So, let me do my brother's dog. Okay. There's the JPEG. I'm going to add the file Alright, and then I'm going to grab the DXF of the file. It was baby. Baby DXF. Okay, open. Alright, and then I'm going to add the file to that. Alright, now your your new files end up on, on the top of the little line here. So I want to place my PNG in line. Oops, control Z. Baby PNG, okay, control Z is not going to do it. You gotta watch where your cursor goes. <laughs> Alright. So cursor is gonna be right here. 
All right, and then my baby PNG place in line. Baby PNG. All right, hit enter again. Have that there. And here's my DXF place in line. And I actually want a line of space in between the DXF for the soldier and the uh, P the PNG or the DX. Yeah. Anyway, I want this to be in a group, and I want this to be in a group, and this right here is the space in between the two. So if I hit preview, because I'm not actually going to submit this, but I'm going to hit preview. Okay. And I just want to show you here. So here is the uh, the JPEG, and here's the download for it. All right. Here's the JPEG of the image, and here's the download for it. So that way, those of you that don't know how to do or don't know what you're doing, there's your JPEG, there's your download, okay? Easy, simple, good to go, right? Cool. So this should be able to help out a lot of you all. Quit giving the, um, or help save the admin a lot of headache. And I know some of these guys got free time, but I'd rather see their free time going to, uh, to making files rather than uh, rather than converting images for you guys so take the take the extra second or two it's really not that it's really not that difficult once you got the hang of it I mean, it didn't take that long did it take this into there hit save as and you're done right it's it's really not a big deal so and then you can just post the two together uh, keeps things going keeps things organized and that's what we all want to see so I hope you guys got a lot out of this tutorial. Uh, see you next time and try to figure out what is going on. Take it easy.